lightweight championship fight between Edson Barboza and Justin Gaethje. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25 minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. Kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. Barboza is three years his senior. He will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting! Out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Justin the Highlight Gaethje. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Edson Jr. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to the Alright, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them. Any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is you can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big off punch land. 
now he gets back in range. Leg kick checked effectively there by Gaethje. And that one certainly found the target. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Now he's got the Muay Thai plus. And he landed the right hand there. Back and forth we go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting that as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. Nice kick there by Edson Barboza. So just over 20 total strikes. So now landed for Edson Jr. Barboza. Just misses there with the left. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And they separate. Barboza gets lit up by that straight punch. Lands to the body there. Stinging shot to the body. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Under a minute to go on our opening line. Big punch lands through the middle. You got to check these low leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Edson Jr. Barbosa. Throws the right hand there. Final seconds here. All oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Ready? A high number Ready? of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Big shot to the body. Nice kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. So 50 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. And landing with 51% accuracy thus far against Edson Barboza. Oh, nice. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, but now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful kick. Slips. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in something. Barboza's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Nice. 
left hand punches the clinch. And they separate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch land over the top. All collar tie. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And both guys really. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ten seconds to go. Big kick. Oh, hard work pays off. Lands the Superman punch flush. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, buckled him there. A beautiful shot to the body. Shot to the body. Visibly limping here. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, the full arsenal on display here. 78 total strikes have now landed for Edson Barbosa. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Justin Gage. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, just as he did the previous round, number of strikes here and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down scary scary proposition for the opponent pretty good right hand he turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was oh he might be out he's giving him so many different things right now You hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Punch over the top. Just out of range with that right hand. That one appeared to stun him. the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Barboza gets caught by that straight hand. Gaethje's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, oh. He's hurt away. Back. Back to the feet. Barbosa's kick attempt. That one was blocked. So a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. 
He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt grab from the amazing. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, single collar tie now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. He's able to slip the left. to the head. Both fighters get up now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Feet on the hips here. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He is getting lit That's up it. right now, John. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. Well, they're all chasing that man at 155 pounds, the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Your winner tonight by vicious TKO. Hard to be much more impressive than that. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still. So there he is in full celebration mode now, the undisputed, reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. He came in with all the hype, with all the pressure, and he rose above it here tonight, getting his 